Hey, I wanted to take a quick video and show uh, just a once around the gyroplane, uh, show the suspension and uh, some new modifications that I did. I just got back from a flight. Everything uh, has stayed together fairly well, no problems at all. Right off the bat, the biggest uh, issue um, that I've been having is the back and forth uh, forward and aft play in the prop. Uh, when you wiggle it from here. As you can see, there is no more. Um, I did some modification to the jack shaft uh, through there, um, honed out areas for uh, some steel sleeves to have a tighter bearing fit. If you see here, you'll see that uh, steel collar in there. Um, that was also added for reinforcement so I can uh, also fix that bearing uh, bore as well. Treated myself to some new uh, prop hardware um, just to make things look a little nicer. Got a lot of bolts and stuff that I want to change out over the next couple of days. So um, The other cool thing, I finally got my stickers in. Um, Eben sent me these, about $27 for a set, and I think he covered shipping. So I don't know if he'll do that uh, more often, but that was nice of them. I really think they're sharp. Um, so... That's what that looks like. That's the new RAF logo. Uh, the suspension, this is the new Don, well it's not new, uh, it's new to me, the Don Parnum uh, suspension, which is a uh, bottomed out shock when you're leveled, uh, or a spring, um, but if you notice when you rock back and forth you can kind of see it unbunch there. Um, but taxing, it is, there is no suspension. Um, it is uh, just a rigid, rigid uh, deal that goes all the way down, and uh, then you have your drag strut. Um, all that remains unchanged. Just this thing comes out, and then you also have the uh, uh, split axle down there. So that's all new hardware. So obviously, I have a a lot of work to do to um, make the rest of the machine work as far as new hardware like these. I want to change these out. Um, got some painting to do. Uh, everything else looks rather nice. Haven't had any problems. I just went and took a test flight for about 45 minutes. Um, I had uh, practiced a, a couple of simulated engine outs and one of them intentionally, uh, wink wink, because I had a spectator. It was an intentional engine out um, that was probably just a little bit too low and I didn't get the nose forward. Uh, forward enough, fast enough, and so I put that suspension to the test, and I must say, rather pleased, rather pleased. Um, on all the landings, it's really great. Uh, um, I just can't uh, explain how it feels. It's kind of uh, spongy. You'll get the uh, back and forth, uh, or the left and right rock, you know, so, um, so you can... Uh, feel a little bit as far as what you need to correct in your uh, left and right cyclic um, instead of skipping your tires so uh, it's very nice I, I like it I, I guess you'd have to just fly it just to know what I'm talking about the other uh, thing that I added I had some added some Michelin tires um, these are different than the uh, uh, the Carlisle's the Carlisle's are flat these are more rounded on the bottom I may or may not uh, see that's a Carlisle. Notice it's flat and on the f um, or flatter, and the other ones are are not so flat. And those are also six ply Carlisles or four, so a little bit more heavy duty uh, change up there. Adds a little weight, but it adds weight kind of where uh, it's good to go. It's um, I won't I won't say it's center of gravity, but uh, it's uh, farther back, so I'm pretty comfortable with that. Uh, Trying to think what else. I uh, did the uh, keel battery mount. Um, it was here. The battery used to be here for uh, those that aren't too familiar with RAF. And uh, relocated it right in front of the radiator down here on the keel. Now that's uh, I think galvanized steel hardware which um, I intend to replace. I don't think it's as good as it could possibly look. I'd like it to uh, make sense with the rest of the plane but um, as you can see, I just kind of rerouted uh, ground and power up there into the harness and um, 
Um, I'm not too thrilled with this particular battery just because of the cumbersome um, way that it hooks up at the terminal. So I'll be uh, shopping probably for a Harley battery or something of that nature. And, uh, or maybe one of those uh, new ones, the lithium batteries that uh, somebody was selling down in Bulgaria. So I really like that. It's out of the way. Um, heat is not an issue. Um, let's see. Lastly, the uh, fuel tank. Had a lot of problems with the fuel tank ever since I bought it. It had cracked here and on the opposite side. Um, on the, uh, uh, right under the lip here. And the entire tank was yellow, which um, gasoline will do. It will permeate, and uh, unfortunately, that um, ethanol mess they're putting in there uh, speeds the process up. So I had this thing fluoroseed, and um, it's a place uh, that you can go visit at fluoroseed.com, and uh, they will treat this with fluorine gas for $66. Um, uh, but they have a $300 minimum, so that's where they get you. So if you can get a buddy to go in with you, um, they'll give you a deal. But well worth it. It should not, gasoline or anything should never permeate this tank. So uh, in about a year or two, I'll come back and uh, hopefully this thing will still be white and good to go. Um, another thing, I know I keep saying one more thing, but the, uh, the other uh, mod that I had recently done is... Uh, added the Allen grips. Um, push to talk is on the front here, which I really like. I'm liking that more because it's uh, more functional during uh, takeoff if I need a radio. And um, I will be rewiring for uh, up and down trim. Right now, I have up and down trim. Uh, this operates the stabilator, and uh, then I can see the readout here. Um, but I'd like access to that um, on the stick full time. So, and of course the passenger uh, just gets pushed to talk over there. Um, some future modifications that I'm looking at are going to be uh, this brake uh, assembly will be um, changed out. I don't particularly like uh, like it. I like the foot idea, um, but I want uh, a full handle all the way across for. Uh, both the passenger and the um, the pilot to be able to operate uh, in case of an emergency. Um, that's pretty much it. Got a new compass. I like that. Uh, I think the other one just needed to kind of be refilled and calibrated, but screw it. I ended up getting a, a compass. Um, that's pretty much it. And I know I've probably said that three times, but um, thanks for watching. And, uh, oh, no, I do have one more thing. This is another modification that I'm going to have to do. The the 2.2 uh, Subaru has like a uh, series fuel um, fuel line, which uh, is pretty annoying. I found some information on how to modify that and get it um, routed to both sides. But for now, the most annoying part is I have my fuel line here that goes into this brass fitting and all I have here is just this hose and so of course every time I need to remove that it gets chewed up and I need to fix it so I need a I want to do an AN fitting there that I can screw and unscrew so I'll be looking for uh, recommendations for that so um, that's it thanks for watching my uh, video and for all you pilots out there stay flying and for all you uh, aspiring pilots get some training please because uh, uh, I couldn't, um, I wouldn't be standing here <laughs> if I didn't get proper training. So uh, get training, fly safe, and I'll see everybody at all the fly-ins. Bye.